starting out the story, uh, the story of the thimble that wanted to be a hamster by me. Um, okay. Once there was a thimble by the name of Ingrid who wanted very much to be a hamster. Now, um, thimble was a boy thimble, and how you can tell the difference between boy thimbles and girl thimbles, well, I'll let your mom or dad tell you. Um, anyway, uh, Ingrid was a, a terrible name, and um, you know, sometimes we're, we all get stuck with strange names in our lives, like, you know, with extra Y's or consonants that you can't explain. And, you know, because of that, you can't find your, your name at um, gas station uh, little charm bracelet things where you're looking around or like... Anyway, Ingrid was the thimble's name. Um, so, uh, Ingrid um, went into a pet store and decide, decided to disguise himself as a hamster. Um, and a little fuzzy ears that he could not have felt. Uh, well, actually, he didn't. He had his um, uh, his best friend um, Barry, uh, the pair of safety scissors and that lived um, next door to him. Uh, cut out some some ears. He wasn't too good at cutting out ears, so he had uh, the other guy, the um, the uh, pen by the name of uh, <laughs> I ask myself for a name. By the name of um, um, Dr. Jeffries. Dr. Jeffries, the pen. This is turning out to be a shaggy dog story. Um, no. <clears throat> Back on track. Um, Ingrid uh, was in, in the, uh, the pet store. And um, uh, everybody was like, oh, what a cute hamster! And went to, went to pick up Ingrid and, and uh, noticed that uh, Ingrid um, fit very well on, on the tip of her finger. Very strange. It's like, wow, this is like the best hamster. All the little kids screamed, that's like great. Hold the little hamster all over the place. And and uh, you know, so um, uh, a family bought Ingrid from from the pet store. I was like, oh, this is the greatest hamster ever. I brought him home, and um, uh, they they uh, suddenly found out that um, Ingrid was very very handy in uh, pushing um, needles through uh, through cloth. Uh, that was that was bunched up, um, but then Ingrid realized something. Um, what if uh, this family um, bragged about him? It couldn't hurt anything, right? Well, um, the family did brag about him, and uh, you know, um, told his progress of of how he could you know, push a uh, a needle through um, cloth just with his head. Um, which, you know, something that thimbles do. Um, so, you know, naturally, you know, all of the other kids at, at school and, and, you know, the parent-teacher association was, was, uh, taken aback. Well, their, their, their hamsters, I'm sure, could do that. So, um, you could, you could understand how, um, Ingrid suddenly had a sense of dread. Um, he, um, had to set things right. So um, he got on national TV and said, listen, I'm, I'm not a hamster. I'm just a thimble. Um, very nice thimble. I mean, I'm, I'm actually watching out for all the, these other hamsters. I really wanted to be a hamster, but it turns out that hamsters don't have the best abilities. Um, they're, just, they're just fuzzy, um, bug-eyed, you know, um, cedar chip crawling bastards that they just kind of crawl around in there. And um, so I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm just a thimble, but I'm a good one. And uh, that's why you should vote for me for president. And they did. And uh, that's why we um, sew flags in.